Hello everyone, it is Kaylin and welcome back to another episode of my Danganronpa playthrough. Last episode, we confronted Monokuma. It actually worked out, had a nice conversation with Kyoko, and now we're about to go tell everybody else what's going on. That's it. That's all. I'm gonna talk to Kyoko again though, just in case I forgot anything, or in case she wanted anyway. to talk to me again. Anyway, right now we have to go find the others. They're probably in the dorm somewhere. Shall we go? We shall. We shall go. All right, let's go. Let's go tell the others and see what happens now that I'm alive. And uh, let's. And also, we're gonna have another trial. What time is it? Are they even gonna be awake? I don't know why I just looked at that map. And suddenly, we were greeted with... Hmm, I don't know how I would say that. You again. That is blur 103.2.1.255. Is he okay? I don't think he's okay. Is he broken? I suppose his emotional instability reached its limit. Hey, G3 for some mag to 61. Jeez, what the heck? However, I wonder what that was all about. I couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief. Ah? Uh is that Makoto? You guys! It is! There's no two ways about it, that's Makoto! Huh? You s survived? Jeez, you're like a stubborn little cockroach, you know that? Byakuya actually loves me. I'm just asking to make sure, but you're not a ghost, right? I am a ghost, actually. Everyone was there, all my friends who had struggled together and survived. As soon as I saw their faces, I couldn't help myself. I started to tear up. What? Wait, what's that smell? What the heck? Yeah, man, that seriously stinks. Ah, it's Makoto. He smells like a wet dog. <laughs> Get away. Shoo. Shoo. And in a flash, my tears dried up. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to my girlfriend, even okay. though that's not why we came here. There's no time to indulge in an extended happy reunion. We need to explain to everyone what happened with Monokuma. Yes. Explain? Explain what? Hmm. But is it okay that you're here? What if the mastermind catches you? It's true. That's related to what I have to tell you all. I need to tell you all about the last class trial. Huh? Last class trial? In other words... We're going to redo Mukuro's trial. Huh? What? Seriously? How about that? What's the point of redoing it? Makoto killed her, right? No, I didn't do it. Like I keep telling you. Wrong. Makoto isn't the killer. And of course, it's not me or any of you. Huh? Th then... Who is it? I see. What she's saying is, it was all the work of the Mastermind. Huh? What? You're saying the Mastermind killed Mukuro? That's right. That's right. It was all an elaborate trap contrived by the Mastermind. Makoto spotted the trap in time and did what he had to stop it. However... But his decision meant that he would be the one to die. What, what did you say? You spotted the trap, did you, Makoto? You make it sound like it was easy. I just, you know. However. But executing Makoto, who wasn't the blackened, is a clear violation of the school regulations. The rules state that only the blackened is to be executed. The mastermind broke their own rules, which is why I went and negotiated with them to have the trial one more time. And the mastermind agreed? Does that mean they really did break the rules? Hmm. 
they had no choice but to agree. You used the TV to broadcast to gain the leverage you needed, didn't you? Correct. Very observant of you. Naturally. I recall what you said at the end of the last trial. When you said, now it's the mastermind that's been ensnared. That's what you were referring to. Don't be mean. Hey, I'm totally in the dark here. <laughs> For anyone who doesn't understand, you can ask Kyoko to explain it again later. So, n knowing all this, what do we do now? About that. It's about who killed Mukuro, right? So our job is to expose the mastermind? Hmm. But there's more to it than that, correct? Um, yeah. For us to win this time, we have to solve every last mystery surrounding the school. <gasps> every last mystery? But we've been looking around all this time, and we still don't know anything, right? Anyway... You've probably guessed already, but if we lose this time, everyone dies. Oh, oh, no! Everyone? I hate you! H hey, who said you could agree to those t terms without talking to the rest of uh, us? Yeah. I'm fine with things the w way they are. I'm fine living here forever with the master. I, meanwhile, want to get out of here as soon as humanly possible. Anyway... Anyway, at this point, the only way for us to survive is to unravel the truth. <laughs> In other words, one decisive final battle. A rather interesting development, I'd say. But... But figuring out who the mastermind is, and, and how they killed Mukuro, and all the school's mysteries? <sighs> it's a pretty tall freaking order. Maybe, but this time the trial is different. We know who our enemy is now. So if we work together and search as hard as we can, I'm sure we'll solve all those mysteries. I'm not so sure about that. Huh? I... I can't agree with the idea of working together with everyone. You can't agree? Why not? I mean, working together with everyone seems like the most obvious way to solve all the mysteries. Indeed. That's what I thought, too, at first. Until Monokuma gave us that little hint of his... Hint? <laughs> it's a very polarizing approach, I know, but okay, enough puns. Anyway, here's a hint. I'm sure I told you this already, but... This killing game began with 16 participants all of them high school students. And the only people to take a single step in Hope's Peak since the killing game began are those 16 students. I see. Monokuma said that, did he? Then Kyoko's opinion is perfectly reasonable. Huh? Huh? But why? So in other words... If the mastermind really is the one who killed Mukuro, as Kyoko says... Then the mastermind would have had to set foot in this school, right? Monokuma could probably murder Mukuro, but there's no way he could have disguised the scene like that. In other words... But according to Monokuma, the only people who have set foot in Hope's Peak are the 16 students who have been taking part in the killing game. <laughs> then the m mastermind is... There were 15 of us in the m main hall at the very beginning. Add in M Mugaro and you get 16. <gasps> so the mastermind w would have to be one of them? That's right. And of those 16 people we started out with, the only ones still alive are the people standing right here. Need I continue, or do you get it now? What? You're saying the mastermind is one of us? No way! You can't- you can't be serious! W wait we can't for sure say that's true yet. Monokuma might have just said all that to confuse us. Indeed. It's certainly a possibility, but only one among many. The mastermind being one of us is also a possibility. And that is one possibility we can't ignore. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're an uh, ultimate, right? The ultimate despair. So they m must be a high schooler. You can't say it's not possible. 
But if one of us was the mastermind, they'd have to be controlling Monokuma somehow, right? But did you ever see anyone acting suspicious any time Monokuma was active? Well, maybe they s snuck off and controlled him in, in secret. But I don't care how sneaky you are. We would have noticed someone sneaking off that many times. I'm right, right? Then maybe Monokuma was on autopilot. Maybe they loaded up all the dialogue and actions beforehand. In that case, there's no way he could have had all those back and forth conversations with us. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be entirely possible if they directed the flow of the conversation. Well, well maybe, but still. Ding dong, ding dong. That was different. You've all probably figured this out by now, but at this point, the killing game has now entered true ending mode. Oh shit, did I make it to true ending? Would I have fucked up if I had killed Kyoko? Uh, okay. So, in the name of fairness, I will unlock every <gasps> room in the school. This is exciting. I feel like, if, okay, if this is the case, then I think I'm at least still on the right track and I feel like I was on the right track early in chapter five because I think I'm I, I I I'm holding true I think Mukuro is still alive and I think Junko was the body that we found I don't know anything about any of the other mysteries but that is one thing that I, I think I'm holding strong on because I I don't know. That still just lines up for me. Especially the fucking red fake nails. Eh. Okay. Let's see. Look wherever you want. Solve the mystery in whatever way you see fit. <laughs> then we can all meet up at the class trial, okay? <laughs> hmm? A very magnanimous of him to unlock all the rooms. That's fine. The time for talk is done. Now we need to begin our investigation. But, but... <laughs> I was planning on working alone from the beginning anyway. In the name of At my this family. point, I can rely only on myself, on the Togami blood flowing through my veins. <laughs> I have no time to worry about the rest of you. Each of you must uphold your responsibility. Goodbye. Well then. After making his final statement, Yakuya left the di dining hall. God, m master he didn't take me w with him. Hey. Do you blame him? <laughs> Without master, the r rest of you are like coffee with cream without the cream. Or g coffee. Yeah. You're totally useless. <sighs> so, bye. With that, Togo trudged out of the dining hall. <sighs> and now she's gone. And you're gonna go off by yourself, right, Kyoko? Indeed. That's right. Hmm. Which just leaves Makoto, Hina, and me. You know? In that case, I'm gonna go by myself too. Just a second. Wait, how come? How about that? Just wait and see. I'm gonna use my totally awesome spirit power to figure out the mastermind's identity. <laughs> mm-hmm. Laughing loudly, Hiro left the dining hall. Aww. Everyone's really gonna go off by themselves? What about you, Hina? Hmm. Um, I guess I'll do the same thing. But... I mean, it's not that I don't trust everyone, you know? Cause but I'm... up till now, I haven't really been all that useful. I just depended on Sakura and everyone else. You're not useless. If you hadn't been here, I would have died. Ma Makoto. <laughs> <laughs> That's really nice of you to say. But, but still, I know I've mostly been totally useless. Okay. So I figure, at least here at the end, maybe I can find something that'll help us all get out of here. So I'm gonna go off and do it all on my own. <laughs> okay, <laughs> see you later. Hina was in surprisingly high spirits as she dashed out of the dining hall. And once again, it's just us two. Indeed. My girlfriend! I know she's gonna go off on her own, but maybe she was just saying that. 
So, you're gonna go off on your own too, right, Kyoko? However... Well, don't misunderstand. Just because we're going to do our searches separately doesn't mean we can't still work together. So... That goes for all of us. I think I see what you mean. Doing our own investigating doesn't mean we can't work together in the end. I should just see it as splitting up to cover more ground. And then we can get back together and share what we found. Yeah, that's right. So then. Well, I'd better get going. I have an endless list of things I need to check. Correct. Monokuma said all the doors in the school had been unlocked, right? So, we should be able to investigate every nook and cranny in the school. We can visit- we can visit all the places we couldn't go before. Makoto. Makoto, no matter what it takes, we have to uncover the truth. By any means necessary. With that, Kyoko was gone. Leaving only me. I don't have time to waste, either. I have to begin my search. I still can't believe the mastermind might be one of us. So, that's what I have to prove. I'll prove that the Mastermind isn't one of us. I'll expose the Mastermind's true identity and solve the mystery of this school. And then we can all escape together. Oh my god, where do I even start? Oh. I guess I'll start by taking another look at Mukuro's Monokuma file. Well, thank you, game. I wasn't sure. Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. They had also been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. Once we find out who killed Mukuro Ikusaba, then we'll know who the mastermind is. So. Where should I start my investigation to figure out who killed her? I guess I should start with the rooms that were locked up until now. The headmaster's room, the bio lab, and the door in the data center with Monokuma's face on it. Oh, and the second floor of the dorms where the gate was down before. That should be open now, right? After that, I'll have to double check the areas that are connected to the murder. Which means the garden and the dojo. Okay, time to get started. <laughs> Wait, okay. Headmaster's room, bio lab, dinner center. Second floor doom, dorms. That's so much. Let's go to the fourth floor first. Is there... Oh, that's so wild that that's open now. I'm actually gonna go here first. The gate's open. We can finally check out the second floor of the dorms, which means I have to do it. Oh, what the fuck? This is the second floor of the dorms? It looks like some ancient ruins. Or no, it's more like a battlefield, like a bomb blew up here or something. Uh, yeah. It's like, there's not even anything for me to check. Oh, okay. This is wild. The bed is completely torn apart. I mean, it's not even really a bed anymore. It's just garbage. Nice. That's what I'm thinking about right now, some coins. <laughs> Is it highlighting the door or something? Oh no. I don't- I just thought there would be something else over there, but I guess it was just the bathroom. I opened the door just a crack, glanced inside, and immediately closed it again. There wasn't even a hint of a bathroom, just a big pile of rubble. Okay. Cool, cool. Um... Okay, doesn't look like there's anywhere else I can go in in there. Bathrooms? Just, you know? Okay, it was, it's good to check. Uh, 
Oh, is there just nothing in here? Okay. Interesting. I, I, I thought there would be more to exp- what the fuck? What? This room is filled with lockers. It must have been for the Hope's Peak students who came before us. The class before ours must have used these lockers. There's a metal plate mounted to the locker. There's no way to get it open. Why? It looks like this locker is already broken. Oh my god. I didn't expect everyone to play them. I wonder if I can open this locker. Rattle, rattle. Nope. Locked. There's a card reader installed on the door. That must be how you get the locker open. After all, it's pretty similar to the card readers for the locker rooms on the second floor of the school. And you have to use your e-handbook to open those up. So does that mean... Well, let's just give it a try. I took out my handbook and ran it across the card reader. And then... This... No luck. Maybe only the locker's owner can open it, which means none of us can do it. Unless one of these lockers belong to me! I don't know why, but... I think this is a different one than the one I just clicked on, but... Still gonna check. Fizz! Is it the same for everyone? I have to check. I feel like there's gonna be payoff to doing this over and over, but maybe I am incorrect. Okay, so that was the broken one. Oops, I think I clicked on the broken one again. I'm not very accurate. Okay. There's got to be one. I believe. I, oh, it's probably one of the ones that's metal plated down. I can't imagine any way to get this locker open. I'm not even going to bother trying. Is that all just one? Yeah, okay. I wonder if I can open this locker. Rattle, rattle. Okay, I don't need to read these. Just click through. Look, I have faith that one of these is gonna open and it's gonna be like, oh, this was my locker. Look, it's just, it's gonna be the last one that I check. Or it's not gonna be here at all. Yep, okay. I think that's it. I think I checked everything in here and uh, I did not mean to click on that again, gosh darn it. I was just trying to drag my camera with the wrong button, I think. <laughs> so yeah, okay, that's it. Damn, I was really hoping I would find something in there. What is this room? This room doesn't really feel like a student's room. It has a more adult atmosphere. There's a hidden door, it looks Correct. like. It's the headmaster's private room. Kyoko! Indeed. I've been through this room several times already, but I still have one little regret. So I decided to check it out one more time. Huh? A regret? Oh, okay, you can click on the secret door, is that all? Alright. A leather chair. I can't imagine a student using something like this. It must have been the headmasters. Or maybe there's some classy students. The desk is home to a computer. It must have belonged to the headmaster.
There's a PC on the desk. It must have belonged to the headmaster. Is oh, it would seem whoever used this last. It looks like they were very interested in the ultimate despair. The PC still has some search results left on it. Then we might be able to get some info on the ultimate despair. However, there's not much though. Nothing we don't already know. In other words, the ultimate despair isn't one individual, but instead points to some kind of group. That group is responsible for the tragedy, which happened one year ago. They're the worst sorts of people, whose driving force comes from despair. However... And that's all there is. Not much to it, is there? Luke. But I guess that's the best he could do as a complete Kirigiri failure. But any information about the Mastermind is hopeful, right? I appreciate whatever info we can get our hands on. Correct. I see. That's a good outlook to have. The ultimate despair stuff is wild. I think that was... Yeah, okay. So just here. I'll talk to Kyoko after I check this hidden door. Huh? There's a strange gap in the wall. Is it some kind of design mistake or a construction defect or something? So... There's a gap here, but not just any normal gap. I can feel a breeze coming out. A breeze? Indeed. There's likely an open space on the other side of this wall. Open space? Does that mean... You mean, like, a hidden room? I think I might know how to open it. You know how to open it? Did you figure out some kind of trick or something? Indeed. A very easy trick, yes. So easy. I'm not sure you can even call it a trick. I saw a program on that PC that I think controls it. Enter the right password and the door should open up. However... But I don't have a clue what that password might be. All we know is it's probably made up of letters and or numbers. We can't really go from there. You're right. That's not nearly enough to go on. It's true. I looked through all his paperwork, all the files on the PC, everything I could think of. I learned more about him than I had any desire to, but nothing that might have been his password. <sighs> when I think of how much time I wasted on this. Jeez. So, there's a hidden room she couldn't get into. That's what she meant by regret. I think we can assume that there must be some kind of clue waiting in there. But maybe for her, there's more to it than that. Anyway, if we want to get in there, we need to figure out the password. And if Kyoko can't figure it out, no way do I stand a chance. No, wait. There might be a chance. The password could be... Something Kyoko wouldn't have thought of. Or something she didn't want to think of. Yeah, I was th my first thought was like, I bet it's Kyoko's name. For example, what about your name? What? Huh? Oh, I like that. It, okay, well, I'm glad I was on the same page as Makoto. Oh, sorry. I was just trying to think of what the password might be. I'm sure she hasn't tried it. I mean, it's totally understandable. After the way she talked about her dad, the idea that he would use her name as his password. Knowing how she is, I bet the idea never even occurred to her. Um, do you mind if I try it? Just to be sure. Well? It's not like you need my permission. If you want to try it, try it. Do whatever you want. Uh, oh, okay. Boop. You know, I'm glad I thought of trying Kyoko's name. But if that's not it, that might just hurt Kyoko even more. I don't think so. Hey. If you're worried about me, Makoto, don't be. I already know that your guess is wrong. Okay. In that case, here goes nothing. I collected myself, then turned to face the computer monitor. Let me just type the password here. I typed in her full name, Kyoko Kirigiri. My hands were tense, slightly trembling, and as I finished typing it in, Oh my god, was that actually it? 
Oh, that's that's rough. What? That did it? Kyoko, it worked. She's pissed. Why? K Kyoko? Without looking at me, she disappeared into the hidden room. She looked grim. Kyoko. I can't believe it! Hey, Kyoko? I may as well not e have even have been in the room. Her gaze was fixed on only one thing. A present? Wrapped and covered with such joy? That's what made it so unusual. Yeah, I don't trust this shit at all. I don't even want to look at the present first. Is that a photo of him with Kyogo? That's kind of fucked. I'd better check out that suspicious present before I do anything. No, let me look at other stuff. There's a brightly colored box here. It seems totally out of place in here. The more I look at it, the more suspicious I get. Should we open it? I'm getting kind of a bad vibe from it. But I mean, we can't not open it. Oh, okay. Makoto. Be careful, Makoto. Why? You think it's dangerous? No, not dangerous. But surprising, probably. Huh? It would seem... If it is what I think it is. At the very least, it's not something you'll be happy to see. Wait, so you know what's in there? Anyway. Just don't scream or anything, okay? Uh, are you saying it's something that'll make me want to scream? I'm freaked out. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna open it. Step by heavy step, I approached the box. I took a deep breath, then took hold of the lid. Slowly, ever so slowly, I lifted it up. Light began to sneak its way into the box. I stole a hesitant glance inside, and... <gasps> Kyoko's advice was no use. I let out a trembling cry. Oh, it's her dad's bones, aren't- isn't it? What was in the box? It was bones. Human bones. It was the last thing I expected to find in such a bright, joyful box. I mean, who could have possibly imagined? I see. Just as I thought. What? Just as you thought? How could you have known that? I mean, there were bones in there. Human bones. Wrong. Well, it's not that I was thinking of the bones specifically. It's just, I had a feeling it would be his body. Th that's pretty much the same thing. A dead guy in a box. My father. Huh? What about him? Correct. What you found in the box. Those bones. That body. That's my father. Or at least, what's left of him. Are, are you serious? This is Kyoko's dad? The same man she's been searching for? H hold on, how can you know that for sure? How do you know that... That's him. So... Given all the information we have already, that's the only possible answer. So, that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. And according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late 30s. It seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in this school right now. It's a very polarizing approach, I know, but okay, enough puns. Anyway, here's a hint. I'm sure I told you this already, but this killing game began with 16 participants, all of them high school students, and the only people to take a single step in Hope's Peak since the killing game began are those 16 students. 
Alter Ego said that the headmaster was probably here in the school, but the only ones who were alive at the start of the killing game were us 16 students. When you put those two ideas together, it doesn't take much to assume. In other words, that most likely my father was in this school, but he was also dead. That's my assumption anyway. As Kyoko explained her analysis, she was completely calm. Or no, she wasn't calm. She was only trying to seem calm. She said it was just as she thought, so she knew it was a possibility. But I have to believe that at some point, she wanted to be proven wrong. Which is why she never looked in the box herself, even though she had plenty of chances. I know Kyoko said she wanted to see her father so she could cut off all ties, but was that all there was to it? I gave up some of that pride. In order to enter Hope's Peak, I had to reveal myself to the school. I did it knowing it was something a true Kirigiri detective would never do. Would she really give up her pride just for that? I couldn't help but wonder. Alright, hidden room present. Alright, let's look at the other stuff. Literally a picture of her dad and her. Huh, this picture. It's all faded. It must be pretty old. Wait, is this a picture of... Yeah, obviously. H hey, Kyoko! Why would you... Well, this is annoying. I came here to cut myself free of the past. And yet... To now find something like this. So, what do you expect me to do now? Then I was right. It's a picture of Kyoko when she was a little girl. Knowing the headmaster had the picture, this picture all this time... He must have really cared about her. Why? Why? What? I wanted to face him and tell him myself. To cut him out of my life for abandoning me. That's the whole reason I came here. And now he's abandoned me again. And this time, he even stole the opportunity I had to move on. Has there ever been a worse father? Kyoko. Well, that's very sad. Okay. This filing cabinet seems like the kind of place you'd find a clue. I should take a closer look. But I don't think Kyoko would like some stranger like me touching her dad's stuff. Hey. It's fine. Check whatever you want. Are you sure? Uh, okay then. I went through each drawer one by one, starting from the top, but all I found were piles and piles of unrelated documents. He was pretty dedicated to his job, huh? Well? It's just because he didn't have anything else. He could have inherited our family business, our legacy. Instead, he left it all behind. Now, if... If he couldn't even handle a job like this, he would have been that much more of a failure. I'm sure he couldn't stand the thought of that, and it made him desperate. Well, okay. The headmaster's desk. It's probably hiding some kind of clue, so I really want to check it out. But I really don't want to touch Kyoko's dad's desk without her permission. She already said go for hey. it. Don't worry about me. Feel free to look around as much as you like. Are you sure? Because... Never let anything get in the way of the investigation. I don't. Uh, okay then. If you don't mind. Yeah, look, boy. Starting from the top, I opened all the desk drawers and looked inside. I rummaged through each one, finding nothing but unrelated documents. But in the last drawer... Huh? Is this...? It's an e-handbook, right? And it has a label on it that says, in case of emergency. I'd found some kind of emergency handbook in the headmaster's desk. 
In other words, a handbook with no limitations, even to the school's ultimate authority, the headmaster. I'm assuming that's what that is. I think you're probably right. It would seem... It might prove useful as we continue our investigation. Why don't you hold on to it? Huh? But, Kyogo... I... I don't need it. If you don't want it, go ahead and leave it here. Th then I guess I'll take it. Is it really okay? We got the Headmaster's e book. Hey. Listen, Makoto? Huh? Can I ask you for a favor? A favor? What is it? So... I know it's completely unreasonable to ask you this. And I know it'll only inconvenience you that much more. Hey. But... Could you leave? Huh? Correct. Just for a little while? I'd just like to be alone for a bit. K Kyogo. Don't worry, I'm fine. I just need to calm down a little. Just I a need second. to get my emotions in order. You know, Kyoko, you told me before about the relationship you had with your dad. How you're only connected by blood, not by heart and soul. But maybe that picture motivated him. Maybe he hoped to see me again someday. Is that what you were going to say? If so, it's just a theory. And this isn't an issue that can be settled with theories. That picture doesn't change the facts of what happened, what I went through. I... That problem can't be solved so easily. You're right, I'm sorry. Anyway... Once I've got myself under control, I'll return to the investigation immediately. So please, just give me some time to myself. Okay, I understand. Then, I'll see you later. Alright. Is she really okay? Kyoko, it must have been a complete shock to her. I mean, it was a shock to me. To find out what happened to the headmaster. There's no doubt the mastermind performed that evil deed. They killed the headmaster. Killed Kyoko's father. They killed him. The headmaster is dead. The one leading the Hope's Peak staff. The one who finalized the plan to isolate you. Was the Hope's Peak headmaster. So that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned the, all this out. And according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late 30s. It seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in this school right now. But we were wrong about that. The headmaster wasn't the mastermind. Which means the mastermind's true identity is... Okay, I'm not reading this again. This has seriously shown up like three times in the last 40 minutes, alright? I don't need to flash back to it again. Fifteen of us met in the mail hall. Add Mukuro to the sick mix and you get 16. And including me, only six of us are still alive. Everyone else is dead. Even Mukuro. Nope. I disagree. Even she's undeniably dead. Nope. Wrong. Wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. So the ones still left alive are... Me. Byakuya. Hiro. Toko. Hina. And Kyoko. Only those six people are still alive. Then there's no question. Wait, no, that can't be. I refuse to believe it. There has to be some other way. There just has to be. Alright, that's where I'm going to end it tonight. 
thank you guys so much for watching as always i'm i'm so hyped to get into the end of this i don't know what all the mysteries of the school are right now but god damn it i'm gonna figure them out i'm i'm holding strong with junko being the body and muguro still being alive maybe i'm wrong but man i feel like i nailed that early anyway thanks for watching everyone if you want please like comment and subscribe or don't i'm not your boss all right thanks bye see you in the next one